Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teaches Noob. Today I have with me Eric. Merry Christmas, everybody. And today we're going to be going over Superman Arkham. You know, so, and this is considered a pretty classic story. And um, wait a second, uh, wait a second, wait a second. You what? told that Gagan. That's not the title you told me. And look down oh. at the bottom of the screen what the title is. <laughs> oh right. Okay. Yes, we're doing Emperor Joker. No point in getting around it. You all know what it is. My thumbnail is going to show it and everything. But yeah, this is one of those cases where, unfortunately, once the true title is out, it's one of those cases where you can only get the twist as it's coming out. Otherwise, the title spoils everything. They did try to get a way around it by um, doing Superman Arkham, like you see here. Unfortunately, solicitations also revealed the first month that the, uh, they already knew months ahead of time, of course, that it was going to be Emperor Joker. No. So, the, by the time it started, yeah, people already knew. But, yeah, we're going to be going over Emperor Joker. And this is still while the triangle numbers were um, still, or they were still doing the triangle numbers. Now, this is during the Eddie Berganza era. You had Jeff Loeb and all, among others working on this, but they were still doing it. They had not gotten fed up with it yet. <laughs> so, yeah, and we open up with Bizarro being introduced. A proper Bizarro, not a clone of him or whatnot. Superman, me, I'm happy to see you. Yep. Right. You can't keep me here. I'll get free. Do you hear me? I will be free. It's a mad, mad, mad world. You see yeah, that? Look at the man. Look at the second mad. What? Me worry? Exactly. It's a mad magazine. But hey, there's Ed McGinnis's artwork. I warned you what would happen if you dragged me back here. Try it again, and I'll tear this place apart brick by brick. Now it's up, up. Out away, Warden, Warden Grundy, he's escaped again. What are we going to do? Uh, do, what do we do every night, Officer Day? <laughs> Gee, Frank, long... what are we going to do tonight? The same thing. I know. Me you and know, I, Pinky, try to take over the world. As long as Superman can leap tall buildings in a single bound, there's only one man who can stop him. Deet, deet, deet. Goodbye. I... Hey, don't say anything. You am on ultra high frequency, so nobody can hear. Sir, hey, sir, we need your help. Me no come. Thank the Emperor. We knew you. We could count on you. M and my enemies me no go to Earth. It am big secret. We heard. S and say, Mr. B, don't forget to open the window. Hello! <laughs> Wanted? Hunted? They say I killed a man. I, a, a man I've never heard of. Uh, uh Yeah. Uh, nobody has ever heard of someone named Lex Luthor. Killed him with my own bare hands. But then, why do I remember that? Superman doesn't kill. Hey, you, you big blue numbskull, you got to listen to. Ah! <laughs> Wrecking that I building. That <laughs> I know. Wrecking that <laughs> building will bring out the SCU for sure. Maybe even the JLA. Wish I had some place to hide or a disguise. There's like an active bomb right there, and I'm expecting the coyote to light it. Oh, look at this. Wonder Woman double feature. Amazon woman behind bars. Cage Amazon woman. By God. <laughs> ha! Finding you was so hard, Superman. I won't go back to prison, Bizarro. Not now. Not ever. You no give up, Superman. Me no kill you. <laughs> ha! Me mi miss you and good that time. Ha! I have to get the, I have to get the upper hand. As long as he can fly and all I can do is leap. Come on, Bizarro. See if you can catch me now. Bam! Yum! That sure have feel good. <laughs> You've got to listen to me. You've got to believe me. I'm not a criminal. You have right, Superman. Me believe you. You know I'm criminal. Ah! And me know I'm Bizarro number one. <laughs> Jeez. Idiots, they'll do more damage to my city than the SCU does in a month. Now what? Help me. You've got, and I know you've got weapons that can stop Bizarro. It's what you do. Is this someone's idea of a joke? Why would I help the most wanted criminal in Metropolis? I, I don't know why. Lois Clark. So you want my help? Yes, very much so. Hopeless, merciless. Help this Superman. I missed a whole but, lot, didn't I? No, actually, you don't. That's the whole joke of this dude. 
it jumps right into this. You have no idea what the hell's going on. You're not okay, supposed so. to know what the hell's going oh, on. Oh, good. It's not a follow-up to anything. I might oh, no, no, no. The whole joke is everything was perfectly fine in the last issue. But when this issue starts off, you're like, wait, what? What the? Who? What? What? Who? What? Yeah, what? The face. Lois, what the hell happened? Wait, do you find out now. He's uh, out. Yeah, Back to prison where he belongs. Be- Go ahead. Well, that, no, you were saying something. No, 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 no. I said go. No, no, no I was. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. All right. By the way, I didn't work every hour of every day building Lane Corps. Uh-huh. So any <laughs> common hoodlum could call me Lois. The name is Lane, Miss Lane. Remember that next time. Not that there'll ever be a next time. They there will be a next time, Lois. Somehow, in some way, somehow, I'll. Bad morning, Miss Lane. Bizarro. <laughs> Why did I ever do to deserve this? The jail is going to reimburse me for these damages. The check is in the mail. Now it's down, down, and near. Why would this <laughs> man risk everything to come here unless Lois Lane is the stupidest idea in the world? Go get him, Bizarro! Secret hide and hideout, graveyard of solitude. We got to stop that Superman before it's too late. Oh, what am I worrying about? The big B always comes through. Got to make sure all these ugly flowers are ch- cleared before he gets back. Gee, being Bizarro's pal and getting to take care of the graveyard solitude. Jimmy. How'd I get so lucky? Huntress, Nightwing, Robin. Jimmy, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> How you stay so weak, Superman? Nobody knows Bizarro number one is the weakest there is. Everything, and because everything's all mixed up. Not just you or me, but this entire city. Maybe the whole, you keep talking, Superman. Me care that you say good things about Bizarro number one. But everybody says good things about Metropolis and dies. Mm -hmm. Me like you, Superman. That's why me not no kill you. Get out of the water. Why me no hear voice in Bizarro number one's head? Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. I I do not I do not care if the the two of you kill each other. But if Aquaman cannot go in the water, then no one does. Then you make me cry, fish face. See how you ha- hate heat vision. It's cold vision. <laughs> wait, wait till me not tell my enemies in the JLA. We're not having frozen fish for dinner tonight. I was about to make a frozen fish joke. <laughs> yep. You let Superman go down, Warden Grundy. So him escape right away. I'll beat you tomorrow night, Bizarro. This country is safe again, Bizarro. Thanks to you. Hello. That, that screaming every night. Who is it? Where does it come from? Calm down, Officer Day. Nothing can hurt us behind these walls. Ah! Somebody in a, is in a world of pain. Shouldn't you go investigate it, Big B? Bizarro know I'm hungry, Jim. You know get Bizarro number one some super burger boys without fries. <laughs> now look at Lois. She has, no, she, she has wigs. <laughs> and she said low and lane core. Oh, no. <laughs> She's been put in Lex's place. Ah, uh, Bob Lois. <laughs> you can't keep me locked up here. I'm breaking out of here. I will be free. So, again, you're just like, what the fuck just happened? Uh, yeah. <laughs> How, just imagine, last issue, everything was perfectly fine. And then you see this, you're just like, what the hell? Yeah. And then you, but you also see Mixie get knocked aside. So, you're like, wait. Is it Mixie's doing or not? Supergirl? Oh, Supergirl? This is the Linda Danvers Supergirl still. Gotcha. I should point out. But yeah, we see um, Mixie running, but then... Ah! <laughs> Safe. <laughs> yep, somewhere. Someone is laughing. But that here at the Temple of the Beautiful, Amazingly Wonderful, Divine Holiness, etc., 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 yada, yada, yada. <laughs> <laughs> niece Matrix instead of Sister Matrix. Uh-oh. Yep, she's given, and for she is given the Raptors' inner voice and peculiar visions. Help me! And apparently, Perry's also here, dressed up in that crazy getup. What the heck? <laughs> Auntie, better than we are. Auntie, better than we are. It's happening. It's happening again. What are you yammering about, Niece Lucy? And why are you interrupting my meditation? It's Niece Matrix. Your phenomenalness. She's having another one of her experiences. Great Caesar's ghost. Not again. This one sounded worse than ever. Well then, let's go and have a look. Bleep, bloop, bleep, bloop, bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> What should we do, oh, set and sagious pilot of my soul? It's very simple, Newt, niece Lucy. We get her down from there. 
<laughs> auntie, auntie, are you all right? Don't worry about me, you yuts. Call it his disgustingly devout blessedness, Uncle Oswald. You don't mean, yes, we need an exorcism. L, 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 cow, 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 blue, blue, super, duper, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and maybe Alfred E. have um, have mercy, and may Alfred E. have mercy on his soul. This is and crazy. Superman got out again. Crazy about you. So <laughs> <laughs> they say he's insane, and maybe he is. They say he murdered a man, a man named Lex Luthor, and that he can't believe. In a world where time has collapsed and memory has lost all meaning, how can he be sure? Maybe he muses he's everything they say he is. A savage, a killer, a danger to to society. Yet on a periphery of consciousness, the edge of awareness, there's an echo of something, a truth once known, long forgotten, that dissolves into mist. Each time he reaches for it. When he sees the light in the sky, he sighs, disgusted. He's here all right already, Superman thinks. That's what they call him at Arkham. Superman. That's the name on the dozens of wanted posts that displayed across the city. A strange name, but one that somehow feels right to him. In a world where everything else feels unbearably wrong, but it soon becomes clear that this isn't the, the dreaded hunter come again to capture his prey. No, this is something very different. You, on the roof, if you value your freedom, get up here. It's Lois again. Like, well, what are you going to, and, well, are you going to squat there like an ape gaping at me, or are you going to get in? God, I know you're insane, but they didn't tell me you're a drilling idiot, too. I I remember you. Ah, it speaks. You're Lois. Lois Lane, president and CEO of Lancor, and I own this city. You've changed your hair since the last time I saw you, but I'd never forget you, Lois. And how could I forget you, considering all the times you and the brainless so-called superhero have come crashing through my office wall? Why are you helping me? You intrigue me, baffle me. And to be frank, I'm not sure why, but I don't like mysteries, and you're one of the I, one I intend to solve. Storm's coming up, Miss Lane. Damn those pies! What? <laughs> pies? Uh, the, I, the way the, those pies have tails, they look like something else. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I know. I know. A different kind of cream pie, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sleep well, Superman. Yes, I think I will. I'll see you in the morning after they're done. Done? What are you? No, I won't be locked in a cage again. Ever again, I... Ah! Why? I told you, I hate mysteries. Actually, you should be flattered. Science is frowned upon in our fair land, to say the least. And I've assembled a team of the most br- world's most brilliant renegades in a variety of fields just to study you. Dr. Erdell, you may begin. With pleasure. Ah! Like, no word, and we don't know where Bizarro Number 1 is. He is somewhere... Eccentric, sir. No, no, I didn't mean to insult Earth's greatest hero, sir, but yes, sir, Warden, absolutely. Huh. And Ivy's in charge of the league! Oh, no. <laughs> yep, yeah, but we have these other weird ca- other ca- characters around her. You insufferable twit! Well, isn't Poison Ivy in a lovely mood today? Must be too much fertilizer in her soil. Gilly, Scorch, whatever you two are yammering about, knock it off. She's always been jealous of me, Sugar. Can't stand being on the team with someone more beautiful than she is. What? (laughs) I said zip it. (laughs) All right, now let's go apprehend this Superman so I can get back to my Azalees. I answer to no man but Bizarro. Oh, please, Ignition, you don't answer to anyone, and I like that in a man. Uh, You are a man under there, aren't you? Away from me, Scorch. You try my patience. Okay, Ignition, it doesn't get resolved here, but he's tied into a story I'm going on that will go on with another, a different General Zod. Gotcha. Bizarro, bizarro, bizarro. I can't believe I have to play second fiddle to that clumsy, dim-witted moron. Why he hasn't and got the brains of, and why he hasn't got the brains of crabgrass, he, whoops. Oh, uh, <laughs> hi, Bizarro. Goodbye, Poison Ivy. Me like you so much. Me gonna make you sure you live forever. I don't want to miss. I don't want you to misunderstand what I was saying, Chief. You see, um, I was imitating you. Yeah, that's right. I was imitating my idol, expressing myself just like you, so that all the negative things I said are really positive. Ivy, you have one rotten stinker. Me hate you. Now me not go after Superman. Well, that's a relief. 
<laughs> Can I say the villains of this are hilarious? <laughs> they are. <laughs> Even Ivy, she's just being the straight man. <laughs> And sir, for the benefit of all concerned, remember to use the door this time. Nope. Think you could award him in a little suitor schism? Do you believe it would have made an iota of difference, Bounty? Not a bit, partner. Not a bit. Right behind you, you gorgeous hunk of whatever you are. What a weed. I so what are we, so when we're done pounding Superman into toothpaste, what say you and me snuggle up and watch a video? I hear that just re, they just released a director's cut of Bizarro Four: The Quest for War. Ooh, oh. me really hate that one. Great, I'll make the popcorn. Bizarro's is like banana man; he just keeps crashing through everything. <laughs> yep. The <laughs> door, Hercules, steals the door. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're we're getting some other examples of some of the other leaguers, and we see um. Someone is having, uh, uh, we get stuff like with the Flash, although in this case, he's really slow. <laughs> How great is this arch? No, no, it's the old arch. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, that's how I have. He gets bitten, and then it's Jimmy. Somehow is now turned into Turtle Boy. Again? <laughs> Giant Turtle Boy. This whole thing is an acid trip. <laughs> oh, Alfred E. Well, like I said, what, me worry? <laughs> I know. And, and these matrix con condition is getting worse by the minute. Ne I never fear. Wait. He's discussing the boat by the uncle. Oh, prankster. <laughs> it's the prankster. Never, right on, never. Right fear. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, uh, never fear, auntie. We shall cast out the demons and redeem the child. And what do they do? They use a seltzer bottle on her. <laughs> ah! So she burned a hole right through the roof. Yowza. That is one hot babe. I didn't just say that, did I? Sounded suspicious, suspiciously like levity time. The seltzer, quick, purify me, purify me. I have been infected <laughs> with your diabolical disease. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, Again, you're just like, what is causing all this? It's meant to be funny, right? Yes, <laughs> it, dude, given who's involved. That's true. <laughs> Come on, muscle man. Come on, muscle man. Up and at him. Your buddy Bizarro's on the way. You shut down the containment field and you're letting me go? Your observational powers are simply staggering. What is with you? First you help me, then you torture me. Now you're helping me again. What can I say? Human beings are nothing if not contradictory. You don't really know why you're doing this, do you? Any more than I, I, whoop. Uh, Get out so before I change my mind again. Ah, uh, love it. Ah, uh, true love it, boss. <laughs> I feel like, me not take you back to Arkham, Superman. Me give you big squishy hug and let you go free. I've just enough and through and I've been through just about enough. Just for one night, for one lifetime. I'm not letting you or anyone else take me anywhere. Nice speech, just the right balance of machoism and grim det and determination. You know, if you were a little uglier, I just might go for you. But the fact is, my heart belongs to Mr. B. What do you say, big guy? Shall we mash this potato? No! Don't you just love when I get all hot and bothered? Scorch not very funny. Scorch make Bizarro cry. You know, Bizarro, I've had it with you and your salacious little sweetheart. This ends now. Man, that guy can really... Scorch, go away. Me hate you. Me hate you. Me hate you too. Don't know where, I don't know where the burst of strength came from. Never knew I had that kind of power. But one thing's for sure, that and the way I'm feeling, I'm going to crash and burn. Very, Hello. I won't let them take me back there. I've got to keep going. I've got to. Do not despair, my friend. Are you an angel? I am your angel. And I've come to offer my help. Together, we can write this madly spinning sphere up. Or not. Uh-oh. You wouldn't consider talking this over, would you? Yum, yum. Eat him up. I didn't think so. <laughs> She's yeah. sickened by what she sees, shaken to the core of her soul. For the first time in memory, hot tears stream down Lois Lane's cheeks. He's just another man, she thinks. Why in the world should I care? If he lives or dies, why should? And then she hears it. The horrible sound that echoes at the same hour every single night. Somewhere, a tortured soul is screaming, but it's not who is not Superman. I'll make that clear. Okay, I'm intrigued. 
Next is Man, the Man of Steel issue. So we have John Henry Iron. So yeah, these first four issues is nothing but batch insanity with no explanation. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what the hell? What? Ah, that's wake, not a nurse I want giving me a sponge bath. I know. Wake up, sweetheart. Right inside. Shine, my steel, steel tweed bad boy. No need to avoid reality. We all know you don't want to deal with your excursions through the giant turtle boy's digestive tract, but deal with it you must, because while you made it through with surprisingly little damage, oh! <laughs> That's what that is! It's uh, shit! Yeah, ugh. They just made it through his digestive tracts! I'm gonna be sick. Gonna now be that sick. the Ori's have you ew, somewhat cleaned up, it's my job mm. to determine the, ex the extent of the <laughs> psychological damage. Who I'm Dr. Erskine Schism, my dear young sir. Now please allow me to use my very special talent to probe for your psychic weakness to locate and spank your mewling inner child. Oh yes, in that way you shall be broken down and healed again. Where where am I? You are full of irrationality? What? So and now Arkham is in the middle of it? It's a literal it's a flying saucer. And if you notice, everything keeps changing every go around. And wait, look at this! Kong and two planes collided together. <laughs> wait, either either that's Kong or that could be Titanal for all we know. True. <laughs> but uh, like weak, uh, no weakness. This is grown wearisome. I believe you are guilty of rationality of logic and being dreadfully boring. Why, and why don't I just explore the tiny hairline fractures in your shackles and let you get and get on with your futile daily escape? Now, shoo, shoo. I don't think so, Eric Doctor. You're right. Escape is futile. I wind up recaptured every time. It's all a waste of energy. So why bother? My, my, <laughs> you are a sad case. Your thoughts process is twisting perilously close to one of order, productivity, and <gasps> scientific reasoning. Warden Grundy was indeed wise to send you to the care and feedings of our science miscreants reconstruction center. I'm no criminal, Schism. Of course, of course. But perhaps once you've had a chance to cool off in a war full of your fellow two minus and two minus two offenders. Sorry, I just like the fact he's getting dragged and he stars his arms crossed like not moving. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ah, another lasso. Cub the sweet old granny for redemption. Granny oh, goodness. No. Is that <laughs> granny goodness? Another another confused creature who must who insists that two plus two must always equal four. How per how perverse. How tedious. How boring. Get in there with your fellow perverts, you fellow scient your fellow scientists and skeptical scum, and don't come out until you're ready to fly upside down and backwards, you depraved loser. What have I done to deserve this? Why does my life seem to consist of one nightmare after another? Everything. Everyone tells me I'm a criminal, a kill and a killer at that. But, but something deep in my gut tells me that's not who I am. These poor folks seems like they should be familiar to me, somewhere on my on, on the furthest edge of my mind. The Earth was created in seven days. No, by Vosky in six, and one for the rest. Like I just can't quite capture the memory. And if it, it's still, if I st if it still hurts, I'm suggesting armor therapy. Have you tried rebirthing? What? Hey. Uh, nothing feels right. Nothing makes sense. Well, I can agree to that. Uh, Until yeah. he finds John Henry. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what was that last? Nothing. Nothing. Ignore me. I'm a bad, sad citizen. Can't stop the wicked thoughts. Must stop the wicked thoughts. E EK equals uh, two and a half MV2. EK equals one half MV2. I, I do. Ooh, what you and what you were going to say? It makes sense. It's like some kind of code. It has something to do with energy. No, it, it's a code. It's a form. It's not a code. It's a formula. A scientific formula, dredging from the twisted imaginings. It's sick. It's not real. Grammy told me basically he's all losing control when um, it's uh, something to do with gravity is what he's realizing, and he soon realized uh, realizes yet yeah, this is John here to help. Oh, wow. irons as in as in the name. Hank Aaron Irons, I think. And you're Superman, aren't you? The criminal mastermind? Your glasses. I seem to recall glasses. I used to wear glasses. I, again, they're trying to figure things out, and they decide to just get out of there. <laughs> I seem to remember a suit of armor. 
say, can you fly? I don't think so, but I am very good at leaping. You know, the fact that we both independently arrived at similar social, unacceptable views of reality actually proves nothing. It only indicates probable and good cause for further investigation. Did, did I say that? And, and uh, you're good at leaping? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Schism and Gorgeous Gilly is her name. Gorgeous my ass. <laughs> I know. I saw this a couple of nights ago during my nightly headlock with Rosaro. Look familiar? So yeah, he gets the armor and soon we see Bounty is there. Bounty's the name and Manhunt is my game. I'm the best there is. No brag, just fact. Now I expect you all, you'll stay out of my way, Superman, unless you want a, sci a psionic projectile introduced into your tailpipe. Because I mean to return Mr. Irons to his cabin in the sky. Stun slug! Oh, jeez. He catches him. Ouch, that hurt! Mister, if you insist on stepping in front of my prey, you best prepare for a little pain. And I so yeah, so he's fighting him off, and now he's gaining his heat vision now. Wow. He still doesn't know what's going on. We're like, I'm uh, getting there. That's good, because I think we're running out of it. Goodbye. Me happy to come so early. Me sorry that this is going to hurt me more than it hurt Superman. Er you am you am very good boy today. You must take this reward. I'm springing Hank Aaron Irons. That very, very lovely development. Now, we must reward him, too, before leaving you both out of Arkham. So we... But I have to do something. Bizarro, wait! Don't you see? This field trip has been very good therapy for the dangerous, rational Mr. Irons. Look, he's this, um, discreeting, uh, uh, desecrating a public statue. Hmm, me so very sorry about this. But see, th and the progress he's made? No reasonable man would disfigure such a beautiful work of art. Me no get point. Maybe field trip am hurting Hank Aaron Irons get worse. By the way, why am Irons in armor? Look closely, Bizarro Number One, and you'll see. You'll see. Hello. <laughs> Glad Hello. you picked up on my plan. We make a good team. Did I do that? Yeah, I think <laughs> you hit a home run, Hank. <laughs> ah, it's, I, ah, uh, uh, geez, I'm trying to get with Mixie's voice again. Gabba, Gabba, Godfrey. Oh, oh he's Gabba been the Gabba. bad, bad boy. That one has. Oh, he's been careless, stupid, stupid, blew it big time. Huh? All five dimensions gone haywire. He's been a bad, bad... Heep! Here we go again! <laughs> what? My, that trade had my name on it. My, my day should be over. What's going on? Wait a minute. I can almost remember. It's all starting to come back. This might miss mean the pattern's been broken. And there's only one living being I can imagine who can alter the pattern. Superman! And Steel? You did it, you big uh, and hunks of burning lug. Somehow you managed to disrupt the pattern. Who? Are you? No time! Just time to jog that second-rate memory of yours, Big Blue. The disruption won't last. Listen, the answers you seek, the facts you need to regain control, to counter him and set everything right, Big Blue, can be found there, in the JLA headquarters, on the moon! You've got to get there before this goes on much longer. Before... Oh, no! <laughs> that was horrible. E equals MC square. Should have known and should have done something. I should have done something. And then, well, then Lois is there again. Superman, I don't think I've ever laid eyes on a more pathetic <laughs> excuse for a super criminal. I know. Brown hair, of course. Is it any wonder I feel so sorry for you? And this breast bucket would be your sidekick? Lois Lane, for pity's sake, there are innocent bystanders being pummeled down there. Can't you do something? I don't I know. I don't believe in innocent bystanders, but I wouldn't want to see my real estate damaged any further. So... Thank you, Lois. I knew you'd come through for me. Sooner or later, I knew you'd feel, too. There is more to life than the man as we see before us, and there's something between us. The only thing that will ever be between us is a sizable chunk of kryptonite. If you ever try kissing me again, you alien freak? But I do agree. There is something more out there for, the, for Lois Lane, and for better or worse, I think you're part of it. Now, you and Oxidation Man better and get your butts into gear and cause some real damage. Land some blows against the Empire. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah, super bad. We have quite a future together, you and I. I wouldn't be who I am today if I didn't have a discerning eye for those with a touch of genius, a gift of vision, 
And all my instincts are telling me that you two are starting a revolution the rest of us can't imagine. If this world is going to shift, Lois Lane's going to make sure she winds up on top. Top. Ah, ah. Oh, hell. Every night on every frequency, the ah again. <laughs> I tell you, Superman, this world can't change fast enough to satisfy me. Again, just what the hell, right? I know. Is anything going to get the same? It will. <laughs> but yeah, now we have Superboy and that ignition fella. Gotcha. Okay, the sec. Seriously, it's weird seeing the other one upside down. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know. Now make that for tail for things. Hey, you'll come back here. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know, Bixie. Oh, no. I made a mistake today. I asked why. Do you Burger think that boy. Abraham Lincoln asked why when his brains were scattered all over Fort Theater? We must disseminate the information to them. The news to the gospel according to Super Burger Boy so that they are armed with the truth. Not surprisingly, it's the same mistake I make every day. And every day, the Burger Guardian, instead of just Guardian, <laughs> makes sure I pay for it. Sure, Chief, whatever. And don't call me Chief! I can't stand <laughs> the... I know, he's like, like Perry! <laughs> and look at Superboy! Look at that, that Burger Boy. <laughs> Bizarro! It's Caesar's Romero, Caesar Romero's ghost. The lunatics have escaped Arkham. How could it have happened? What in the what is the world coming to? It's coming to an end. Everything's changed. Everything. So we see a bunch of random other villains that escape. Caesar Romero's ghost. <laughs> yep. At that moment on the moon, do you realize that this was the first morning since I became Superman that I've been able to watch the sun rise without Arkham's bars in my way? I've dreamed of this since I started dreaming. I think freedom. Freedom to, to do, I don't know what. I never planned that far ahead. I never believed the sign, the sign over Arkham's gate, criminally saying, not me, not ever. But the truth of it is, if all our talks of logic and reality and conspiracy was just talk, man, we wouldn't know it, would we? Because madmen don't know that they're mad. Crazy is as crazy does. Like, we're not crazy, Superman. The world is. Yeah. Though the irony isn't lost on me that such a statement is paranoid, narcissistic, and potentially delusional. There And there there go two more. The riot caused by your breakout of Arkham is certainly keeping the JLA busy. Perfect. That le- only leaves two life forms register in this watchtower working together. We should be able to handle them and get to some answers, some truths. Answers. We're a supervillain and a political dissident. That's what they are? What? Chasing a vision of a little elf to a tower on the moon in order to prove that we're not mad. Paragons of reality, us and us. Somebody ought to make a postage stamp. Don't think this has been easy for me to swallow. I'm not exactly employing the scientific method here, but don't you want to know the truth one way or another? What if the truth is we're wrong? Tell you what, we get to the moon and we still can't prove two plus two equals four. I'll tie a pretty bow on both of our straight jackets. (laughs) <laughs> everyone knows two plus two equals fish everybody but us please god don't let me be crazy please <laughs> so uh, yeah again apparently ignition um is not affected by what's been done but again this never gets resolved uh, oh, meanwhile in L- luxurious lane there's more than this that's more what the alien said more there is more than this in the world, as if he knows, as if he is privy to knowledge unseen. What can he possibly offer me, that alien, that criminal, that murderer? Why does he look at me, through me, as if we stared at one another for a thousand years? Why do I listen to those eyes when there's nothing between us? Because I am brilliant, and I always recognize opportunity when I see it. Superman has uncovered the power to disrupt the status quo. Unequipped with the intelligence to utilize it, he has sought me out. Far be it for me to disappoint. Empress of of all that is and more. That has a nice ring to it. Thank you, Super, Superman, for being a killer with such honest eyes. Brain X-13, summon my transport. Ready for off-planet travel. I can't believe that's, wor- and, uh, that's working. That's because a cloaking device doesn't work on face. This ru- and one runs on 2D batteries. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> The monitor womb is what it calls instead of the monitor room. And they're seeing all this hell going on, and he feels like he needs to stop it. I, why, why I do declare two hunks of burning love, one raw and one in a can. Die! Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh. Goody, all this minor duty's got me hungry for a double helping. Thank goodness I've got an, uh, the, uh, I have got got up the powder my nose. Nothing worse than getting gentlemen's calling and your face ain't in, a, in place. Come and give mama some sugar. And gorgeous Gilly, listen to me, Superman. Do not look directly at her. Superman, you're not shielding your... Oh, crap. No, no, no. So apparently, despite how ugly she is, she could make Pitman attracted to her. Yeah. Hello, I mean, hello, how you I mean, hormone boy. Time to switch off the scramble channel and return to the schedule program. Get to the tower. And leap eyes of elves. What are you? Hey, I'm no and mine, sweet lips. I'll take care of this swamp rat by the fifth dimension, woman. Haven't you ever heard of dental floss? <laughs> <laughs> I, need a new I need a new gag. Bet Casper doesn't get his lugs kicked in. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 oh! I bet Casper never gets his lugs. <laughs> oh boy. Feel sad. At least we let and we let most of the Arkham inmates escape. I know it's just me not care. Me uh me but me must stay a long time so the other inmates get away scot free. Hello. So and then, and so that's it then. The champion of a hundred beef burgers is vanquished, and all we got is a wave and a hello. Look and look and look not at my eyes, Super Burger Boy. Lest I might cry. Yeah, me too. In fact, he says, "I'll see you tomorrow." Dude, denial ain't just a river. In case you didn't get and get it, there is no, no tomorrow for us. Sorry, scratch that, chum. We've got a lunch crowd to defend from man-sized appetites. <laughs> what the? <laughs> no, no, I was free. Things were right. This, this is a chip. This bites. <laughs> Whoa, this rocks. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on a second. Huh? Sorry, I just got a text. Um, I'm, I don't need to say it. <laughs> All right, I was just, no, I don't think so. I was just yeah. asking. But yeah, so he's Superman flying until Ignition meets up with him. Your journey is at an end. Uh, answers or oblivion will be yours. Choose. Come, God, man. Make war with Ignition. You you know what's happening, don't you? To me, to everything. I know many things. I, I know, yeah, an example. I, and one second, my um, smoke alarm. Wait, oh, I had a lot of crazy things going on today. My furnace was acting up. Turns out I just need a new filter. Thank God. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know what makes you burn on the inside, as well as the outside. Then you also know I have a high threshold for pain and no tolerance for riddles. Tell me what you know. There are more worlds than this, Kryptonian, and you will not survive long enough to see any of them. So has my sovereign decree. Who, who is doing this to me? Who is your sovereign? Ask not this question, man God. Instead, ask that which your heart would truly know. If this is the end of me, if I am to die in a world not of my making, in my skin, not of birth, what will become of Lois? Lois, I promise you, I will take gentle, tender care of her needs. You stay away from her! Jeez. Jeez, yeah! All right. Pardon my French, Snoopy, but it's all about, it's about <laughs> working time. You, I know you. For, and for that brilliant bit of dialogue, I've been waiting in this tower like a putz. I should have been, I should have been sending astral projections to someone with a little more, a little pizzazz to their plat and patter. Ah, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Not even in this knockoff universe. Voila, super doof. You've got me, your greatest, impious, best dressed enemy ever. Mixia, Mr. Mixia Pedelec. Hoo-ha! Mixia, <laughs> mi mixia lip, whatever your name is. How do you, <laughs> I know you. How do you? Enough with the amnesia routine. Jeez, did the ignition slap any sense into you? Come over here. After all the magic wasted so far, why be shinsy now? Remember. I, oh, I remember all of it. Uh, 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 I'm not insane. I'm not insane. That's debatable. Didn't you turn down a thousand years of tonsil hockey with Wonder Woman? Hardly a safe move. Oh, <laughs> not, oh. <it's>, uh, <laughs> that, that event did happen. Oh, God. 
<laughs> I know. I'm not insane. I remember everything, especially you, Mixie. Imp from the fifth dimension, insane prankster, the genie with a gift for making me crazy. Best part, I remember what it takes to and break your spells and put things in right. One word, one word you're going and you're going to say, right? Caltipsism. Caltipsism. That's what you want to hear, isn't it? My name backwards? The key to your sanity? Caltipsism! You said it. It didn't work. Even, I, I, I didn't even, oh, you said it. I didn't even have to trick you. You said the word and nothing happened. That's right, Big Blue. Nothing happened. That's why I've been leading you here, calling for help. Because the mixer ain't in charge of his own mojo anymore. I'll give you one guess who's pulling the strings. Dear God. Yeah. It can't be. Tell that to the guy who reshaped the universe in his image. Tell Emperor Joker. So imagine if there was no leaks. Just imagine how much, or, you know, as things weren't spoiled. Just imagine how pants wetting more so this would have been. They would have dropped their comic and be like, what? So, and then he has Mixie's powers. We're doomed. <laughs> and this is where we start to get more. This is where the shift happens now. Now that we have answers, it's about trying to stop him. And look at that cover. <laughs> that goes, bow to the king. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. But yeah, so um, ladies and gentlemen, hobos and tramps, cross-eyed mosquitoes and bow-legged ants, I've come before <laughs> you to stand behind you to tell you a story I know nothing about. One bright morning in the middle of the night, two dead boys got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other, drew their swords, and shot each other. And if you do not believe this lie, it's true. Ask the blind lady on the corner. She saw it, too. You were expecting... Ex- we're, we're all living in it. <laughs> you were expecting, in the beginning, the Joker created the heaven and the earth? It's been done. Who are you talking to, Mr. J? That's Emperor Mr. J, my babe in waiting. <laughs> can't, uh, uh, can't, you, can't hear you, Lexi. And great go- and great green gobs of greasy, grimy gopher guts, mutilated monkey meat, all the things we love to eat. Remember, Lexi, no funny, no money. Uh, uh, it's good to be the emperor. I'm the sun in the morning and the moon at night. The Joker, the moon headquarters for my JLA, the Joker League of America. Hmm, technically that would be the T-J-L-O-A. Well, technically, I could just revert the alp, reinvent the alphabet. <laughs> or not. <laughs> My memories may be a little foggy, Mixius Pedelec. Uh, and that can't be hers. But I know the Joker doesn't have the power to alter reality. In fact, he doesn't have any powers at all. Boy, do you both have a lot to learn about insanity. Right now, though, and though we've got, uh, right now, though, we've got to get off this dust ball and back to Earth. Think you're going to manage it into that tin guy? I can try. I can't believe I'm saying this, but there is no try, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> One of the perks of being the Big E is that I get my own royal court, cut myself a new deck. Scorch, she's a hottie. Bounty, he's my goon for hire. Gorgeous Gil and Gilly, take a gander. Ew. Schism, master of martial arts mayhem. Added some variations on an old scene. Poisonous Ivy, mean green fighting machine. Enigma, Irrational Man of Mystery. Gravedigger Lab, the shoveling sidekick. And Bizarro, the world's mightiest... Eh, whatever. <laughs> I don't feel... I, I don't like this. It feels like we're running away. Guess what, genius? We are. So shut up and let me do the thinking for a while. We're not going to be able to handle another hit like that. Mixius Pitalik? Like, why should I trust you? All you've ever done and done is try to make my life miserable. Uh, I... I restored your memories, repair your pajamas and cape, and this is the thanks I'm getting? Hey, Steel, let's make like a tree and leave. The tide is high in the sea of blood, man, God. Escape is not for you this day. And then there's Ignition. Who sleek, black-powered baby? I could drive that Cadillac all night long. Funny part is, I don't remember creating him. Must he be he was a few too and many brain cells. Oh, well, every deck has to have a wild card. <laughs> <laughs> so basically that is them trying to get away and everything's starting to fall apart as we're seeing Supergirl like leave me be spirits haunt me no more the hills are alive with the sound of no 
Have to make it back to the Abbey. Normal. Have to find help. Ta-da! Speechless, right? Well, I know what you're thinking. How did a swell babe like you happen to run into a hunk like me? What can I say? This is your lucky night. I yeah, go ahead and and and, and touch chicks and touch chicks. Love a guy in uniform. Super. That's me, doll. Super delicious. No. Yow. You must help me find Superman. He's our only hope. Superman. The guy's a murderer. What do you want with him? Wait a second. Maybe not such a bad idea. After all, I know I'm going to regret this. But could you go over that again? Would Superman not escape other supervillains? Uh, blah 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 blah. <laughs> I may your Joker ship. I speak Bizarro. There is the slightest chance that this Superman might rally a few of these escapees, so you may wish to consider dealing with them at their weakest. I see. And you, you all just thought of this yourself, Elves. You inspire us to greatness, Joker. And you got an A in brown nosing skids. Uh, 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 how, uh, how about it, Chigga? Oh, jeez, oh, fl- she's flirting with everyone. Oh, gee, my nuts. Harold, maybe torture humiliating soups and the gang isn't enough. Yeah, and well, you already killed a bunch of them, Puddin. I guess you can kill a bunch more. But if you think, and if you think I'm small, you should see my silver dollar. That's Harley's it. Even, yeah, Harley's not even trying to hide her bosom. <laughs> I know. That's it. I could give him an all amalgam of new he- and headaches and hit him right in the zero hour. Make a real crisis for those infantile jerks. <laughs> Gee, is that what I said? <laughs> crisis zero hour. <laughs> Joker, enough. There's a fine line between lunacy and idiocy, and now you've crossed it. Who? Oh, it's you, Lexi. I'd be careful about how you speak to your emperor. The only reason you're alive is that Superman seeks you're dead. However that works. Lex Luthor, and Lex Luthor, the gesture to my royal court, the fool to my king leering, the, sorry kids, they all can't be as good and good as bean jokes. If you want to kill me, then do it and be done with it. Anything is better than sitting here, watching you with the power to control the universe, and all you can think of is how to treat some costume heroes like toy dolls. <laughs> Shows what you know, they're not dolls, they're action figures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really, Enigma? You don't say. Oh, yeah. You don't say. What did he say? <laughs> he didn't say. Oh, <laughs> God. But, but you have given me something to think about, Lexi. And all that makes me, man, that, that thinking makes me hungry. Yum, yum, some, and dim sum. Chinese food made from real Chinese. All of them. Damn. That's racist. <laughs> I guess someone should have yelled, yeah, pecking duck. <laughs> Okay, Joker, you've just wiped out the People's Republic of China. What are you going to do next? And the first one of you who even thinks, I'm going to Happy Land, gets to be the dessert. Smallville, Lois, come on, it's time to wake up. A dream. It was all a dream. I'm afraid not. It was. I, I, I was on my way to the moon when I saw Ignition blow you out of the sky. I had my ship pluck you, the steel man, and the little guy out of the debris. But you called me Smallville. You must remember who we are and what we meant to each other. Um, no. We're we're in Smallville, as in Kansas. Lane Carr owns the, the land. Most of the state, actually. You seem, you seem disappointed. Look, if it makes you feel any better, I am starting to believe that something is wrong. As am I. Something is and is wrong. That's got to be the understatement, understatement of the millennium. <laughs> like, I knew this place. I knew the people who lived here. They were good people. Where are they? What on earth ha- and what happened to the earth I knew? Hey, you want to take it easy on the eardrums? I already told you, I had nothing to do with this. It was all the Joker's doing. The Joker? That's not good enough. I want the truth. All of it. But we've got to. Oh, all right. But it's kind of embarrassing. No, stop no, stop no. me if you heard this one. I'm an imp from the fifth dimension. I used to drop in every 90 days or so to drive you mad. Ah, those were the good old days. We'd have some laughs at your expense, play some games like you tricking me to say my name backwards, and I'd get sent home over and over and over again. Well, I don't know about you, but there's only just so many times you can lead a horse to water and teach an old dog do tricks. In other words, I got bored. Suddenly, I had this brilliant idea. Well, at least it sounded good on paper. I went to see the Joker in his home away from home at Arkham Asylum. The fact that they had moved him to the slab in New York City should have tipped me off that this was not going to go well. 
but I'm a never-say-die kind of guy. I pressed on. Now, the Joker has made a career of making Batman batty, so I figured, and figured just for laughs, what if I gave him powers and my powers and set him loose on your world? Hey, wait, that's a, that's a, to a tease. To well, one, that's Barney, but two, that's a tease on the cover of Batman sitting from the TV while Robin's trying to get his attention. Oh. You know how, and you know, see how somebody else would do my job. Look, I'm not an idiot. I plan on giving him only a little of my power, like 1%. That's what I learned that just because the Joker is insane doesn't mean he isn't smart. He tricked me into revealing my secret name, which every imp has. And in doing so, he took 99.9% .9 of my power. Okay, so maybe I am an idiot. <laughs> about six, uh, about 69 seconds later, he remade your world in his image. Stuck me in a closet on the moon, and we all lived unhappily ever after without commercial interruptions. <laughs> so, man, even for you, this is hard to believe. If I, you've never been all-powerful. How could the Joker be? Morons! I've got morons on my team! I actually, I, I actually grasp the concept of you obliterate reality that there's nothing left to play with. The Joker, however, doesn't care! He's a homicidal maniac! I can promise you this. The longer the Joker has my powers, the more comfortable he becomes with it. Until sooner than you think, he'll be able to dominate all time and space. But if you want... If, 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 but if what you want to do is sit around Boogersville, Kansas, watching the corn grow and downing me, we get your point, Mixius Pitalik. Okay, I'll bite. How do we take on the Almighty? We're going to need help. Aquaman, Wonder Woman, those villains... They were once the world's greatest heroes, Lois, and they can be again. Heroes, that's was our lot in life, I'm sure of it. Just as I can sense within you, Superboy, that you are of good and noble spirit. Yeah, well, I do like you calling me Superboy. It has kind of a ring to it. Maybe like you said, if we can find Superman, he can clear all this up. Or we take him down and bring him to Bizarro, and I get myself a free ticket to the JLA. Right into Penguin's nose! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> Just really a quick search for, uh, but yeah, um, I don't understand. If all just broke out, if all if they all just broke out of Arkham, why would they come here in the middle of Metropolis, where Bizarro, where and, and where Bizarro, where anybody can find him? I'm sorry, I must admit the chapter where rational behavior was explained rationally. Trust <laughs> me, they're inside the Hog Gang you used to know as your JLA. The Justice League of America. Superman, I don't like this. Even wearing LexCorp battle armor, this, these people the imp has led us to, they're some of the worst criminals on earth. That's what you once thought, it, uh, thought about me, Lois. These people were my friends. Just in case, what are we going up against inside, Mixie? Don't you ever read the funnies in the Daily Planet? Their origins are told every day. Born the son of a fish and human woman, he was more man than fish. Unable to live beneath the seas, in fact, unable to even go into the water, Aquaman became the scourge of the seven seas. Now, with his, the young Aqualung lad at his side, the menace called Fish Face sees to it that if he can't go into the water, no one will. Born on Paradise Island, Wonder Woman was raised to fear all men. Now, using her extraordinary power to make herself feel guilty about being both a woman and a working criminal, the housemaid of Mike continues her never-ending quest to commit crimes, star in a series of Amazon Women Behind Bars movies, and bake cakes. Born unable to say no to sweets, Wally West was struck by lightning while cheating a vending machine out of a box of milk duds. Now, in, I know, imbued with unmatched speed, the Flash races the globe, snatching faster and faster fast foods. Winded and wheezing, he has earned the name The Flab, the fattest, fastest fat man alive. <laughs> the last survivor of a once proud Martian waste, the Martian Manhunter hides among us. Fully grown at three feet tall, he uses shape-shifting powers to overcome his Napoleonic complex. Armed with plenty of uranium-235, it is he is determined to blow up the Earth in hopes of having a better view of other planets. Of course they went there. Called Plastic Man because credit card fraud was his M.O., he was caught one day in the very device that he used for crime. And now able to turn himself into any form of credit card or ATM card, the pliable <laughs> villain can appear anywhere the unsuspecting might be. Plastic Man is 20, available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, ruining your good credit. Then a strange alien gave Kyle Rayner the magical yellow paper lantern. 
He had no idea. Some people would call him um, Yellow Paper Lantern. Now he's dedicated his life to wreaking havoc on the world with his shadow puppets. Um, that's them. That's them. Maybe it's just me, but but I think what the lady wants to know is, have you got a plan B? No, they deserve better. If they could be made to see the truth that I have, we can rekindle, rekindle what was lost. They are legends, no matter what the Joker has done to them. I'm going to ask them. Tell them to help. Wait, what about Batman? Why haven't you told me what happened to Batman? We should get going. Every second we waste, the Joker goes more and more powerful. Oh, geez. And yay! Why didn't anyone call in to save me? <laughs> uh, you got something to say, Robin, number two? Uh-uh, yes. Ooh, I like it. No wonder you're called a naughty Robin. Well, gang, seems I've got a lot of work ahead of me now. Oh, and Nightwing, I liked you so much better than those little green shorts. Oh, and they're fighting him. <laughs> oh, boy. I told you this was a waste of time, Superman. Yeah. Superman! Lois! I've had enough of this. Just hold everyone. If you'll just hear me out, I promise we'll leave. And then, oh boy, Superman and Super, uh, Superboy and Supergirl show up and throw things into a tizzy. Great. Nice card belt is bidding. Those kids fractured the main support beam. We've got about three seconds before we're buried alive. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, dur, 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 dur. He, he's going to save us all. Whoa. If, uh, if you, uh, space, my final front yard. If you were expecting me to be grateful for a celestial audience with this quintessence, then you do not know dark side. Needless, dark to, say, side. Uh, needless to say, we now have mutual interest in the safety of the cosmos. An insignificant speck on the planet Earth has stumbled upon something which is m by right mine. I, have, I refer to, of course, the anti-life equation. Gansett, Shazam, Highfather, Zeus, Phantom Stranger... You all know what will happen should this Joker realize its true potential. So, acting on behalf of the combined universe, I want your work that you will not interfere in my tax task. Well, what say you all? What's up, D? What's up? What's <laughs> up? What's up? Yo, where's the sod? I am too late. <laughs> yeah. Boo! Well, I've got good news and bad news. The bad news is you are about a day late and a dollar short to pick up your very own anti-life equation. But the good news is I'm looking for a lawn jockey tramper out in front of my high hacienda. That was a new coat of paint. You look sort of spiffy in the raw. Either that or as a hood ornament. I can't decide. Well, what do you say? I, I'm watching your Gretchen game. Drinking the suds. Two, true. Yeah. Unsettling. So, yeah, he's trying to explain, tell them, remind them all they did the Justice League. What if you're wrong, Superman? What if, and what if I'm right? And we've done nothing to stop the tyranny and suffering. It wasn't that long ago, Superboy, that you, Steel, and Supergirl fought against all odds to save my life. I, as I lay dying from kryptonite poisoning, you all went inside my body. I remember that. There was no guarantee that you would come back. Yes, we did it out of our respect and loyalty for each other. We have been granted a gift. Powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. The measure of a hero is not in speed or strength. It is in his or her ability to choose how to utilize that gift. To paraphrase a great man, ask what not you can and your world can do for you. Ask what you can do for your world. Now yes. you think Lois is back, is back to normal. She ain't. No, no, I was telling she works great. Yep. Look at those costumes. Yes, there's something very familiar about all this. But how can you be sure that if we join you, Superman? We won't wake up tomorrow morning in Arkham, feared and hated by the very people you want us to protect. I can't be 100% sure. Then we're sorry, but Diana, wait. Promise me you'll at least think it over. I know that if you come back to us, the others, no promises, Kal-El. That's all I can say. But you did call me Kal-El. Maybe then there may be some hope left after all. Ha! <laughs> What a moron! What a nincompoop! What a fool! You truly are. You've given them the one thing they needed to topple your empire. Hope. This is the beginning of the end. What's the matter with you, Lex? Don't you get the joke? 
This isn't the beginning of the end of the end. This is the end of the beginning. You know, you have to keep breathing. <laughs> so again, what? So how was that the big reveal? <laughs> Ins- even more insane than the other ones. Are that saying something? How many issues is this again? Uh, four more left. We've already passed the hour. Don't <laughs> worry. Yeah, we'll be done by then. It's good to be king. Now is known as the reign of Emperor Joker. <laughs> Um, we've made it this far. The Joker will be expecting us to come from the air. So we're going in this way. It's everybody's transmitting work, mid or working. So yeah, they're going through all this. And, um, yeah. Uh, you this, say you this, want a revolution. <laughs> well, you know. This was a great plan. If the plan was to get us killed, Superman, these Joker face piranhas appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, jeez. I hate to take a life of any creature, but I'm sure these piranhas aren't even real. Whoa! Skeletons! Nah. I'm all bone. No, me and all bones on them. They're all teeth. <laughs> no, no I think we've had help. I I hoped it was I hoped it was you. You I know you can read my thoughts. If so, welcome back to the fight, Aquaman. Aqua Long Lad, we're shoving off. I thought I saw, I saw something in the water, <laughs> but there's nothing here. If you can read this, you are too close. <laughs> <laughs> this and this and that's it, Miss Lane. I can feel it starting to give. We're in. And but it's not fair, Puddin. That's Emperor Puddin to you, my babe in waiting. We've got you got the whole world, and all I want is a little piece of my own on the Jersey side. Harleyburg, like Otisburg. Harleyburg. <laughs> Harleyburg. It's just a little itty bitty place. <laughs> <laughs> Representing. One second. One time for a roll call. Bizarro and bizarre. Uh, one, one second. Time for a roll call. Bizarro. Me know I'm here. Schism. Present your joker ship. Grave digger, la- digger lad. Happy to be here. Heck, I'm happy to be anywhere. Funny. Leave the jokes to me, kid. Um, ew. Gorgeous Gilly. Why don't you come up and see me sometime, big boy? Lex. Lex. Would someone explain to me why, explain to this moron who is bleeding all over my floor that when his name is called, he's supposed to respond? Wait, <laughs> I forgot. I killed him. He's dead. Well, I'll just have to fix that. Joker, nobody, I mean nobody, treats Lex Luthor this way. I know the truth. You're nothing. You're not an emperor. You're a nothing, and you're nothing more than an in, in, inmate at firing. <laughs> now then, you were saying something, Harley. Uh, it was nothing, your royal emperor joker put in, sir. <laughs> <laughs> then we're agreed. While Mixie's pitter con- convert and conserves his power, our job is to keep the joker busy. You can leave that to me and steal. Good. Superboy, Supergirl, and I will try to find Batman, if he's still alive. If he's still alive, he's our best hope of defeating the joker. Look, I've gone along with all this so far. I can't say that I remember everything about what you've told us. And and how are we heroes and once not and how and how we were heroes once not criminals, and I'm even willing to buy that some imp from the fifth dimension is responsible. But when all of us were wearing the, those transmitter plugs and we could hear each other, how come we couldn't hear this lowest lane? This battle suit operates off my psychic link with it. The link or teleplugs interfere with that transmission. Says you. How do we know we can trust her, Lois? You don't have to answer that. You don't have to stick up for me, Superman. But it's awfully sweet of you anyway. <laughs> what the? She didn't answer my question. Superboy, are you blind? He loves her and she loves him. This way, Steel. The rest of you can take care of yourself. It's called faith, Superboy. If you believe in Superman, you got to believe in Lois. I guess. It's it's even worse than Mixius Pitalik described. Even at its bleakest during No Man's Land, Gotham City still stood proud. When the Joker has even greater control of his power, it's any place safe. This sick. This is one sick individual. Give it up now, Superman. The the reward for all of you all is dead or alive. Makes no difference to me. If Bounty has found us, the rest of the Joker's JLA can't be far behind. Let's split up. Right, right, it's up to us to lose this loser. Hmm. So yeah, they're flying around and dealing with Bounty. Good (laughs) job. Uh, um, No! Ignition! If they are dead, so are you! Do not presume to threaten me, son of jor You barely comprehend the forces that work here. But when your body is bent and broken, then you will kneel before 
no, that was my, and that kill was mine. And oh. goodbye, Superman. Bizarro, why? Me tell you a secret. Ignition, forget now. Bizarro number one gets to keep Superman alive. Me now punch you in the face as softly as he can. In your words, Bizarro, me have plenty of time for this. <laughs> me, I'm so, me, I'm so happy. Me stay with Superman now. Me fight. Here, these are yours. Hello, madness. <laughs> <laughs> Brought you a little present, Joker. Hopefully he'll stay fresh in that can. What? Why? Does it anybody knock anymore? Emperor, want me to dig this chick a grave? Well, let's not get too hasty, Jimmy, old boy. I, for one, would like to hear what Miss Lade has to say. Good. I'd like to make you a little business proposition then. Oh dear, Superboy was right. Uh -oh. Can't find a trace of Superboy or Supergirl, and Steel should have reported by now. If anything has happened to Lois, ah! Every night that and night that that same cry. Here, Batman, he's dead. Uh -huh. Dark Knight returns, but not how you think. Uh -huh. So what do you think about the story going on now that we know the truth? It's still insane, yeah. but scary. it's getting scarier, isn't it? <laughs> uh, well, well, in an evil dead sort of way, yeah. <laughs> yep. Whoosh! Chink! That takes him they, They're ready for him, but he takes him down. Batman is uh, a true hero. And he comes out of his grave! Uh. And Joker... You and I have a business to discuss. Ooh, I a plot twist. I just love it. Don't trust her, sugar. The gal's got the hots for Superman. I can smell the pheromones from here. Yeah, Puddin, it's written all over her face. Uh, Harley, Gilly, I do believe it is It, it is written all over her face. I have the hots for Superman. Here, Miss Lane. Or is that Miss Lane? Let me wipe it off of you. Off, off for you. <laughs> if you think I have feelings for Superman, you're dis delusional. Indubitably, Miss Lane, or is that <laughs> Miss Lane? But in any case, I believe that you and I will have to transcend your biological urges. After all, there's no better lust than the lust for power. <laughs> now, I may be crazy, but I'm no fool, no siree. So, <laughs> Miss, you don't mind if I call you Lois, do you? Of course not. So, Lois, if you really want to convince me that you're no longer aligned with the man of Shimmel and Shamil and his revolutionary forces, you won't mind if I take this family side can of scan a span off your hands. Steel, he means nothing to me. Good. Boom! Oh. Cause I just killed him. She's a liar, Puddin', and she's got bad hair to boot. A liar, possibly. But that's the fun of the story, isn't it? Trying to understand the sometimes murky motiva motivation of the characters. I'm not a character in some story. I'm Lois Lane, and no one takes me or my power lightly. Of course, because that's the way I wrote you. Oh boy! <laughs> oh gosh! So yeah, we're basically finding out he's admitting more and more about how he changed it. Shazam! Or was that Saru? <laughs> do you see the Nika? And do you see the Nika boobs I'm surrounding myself with? Why I must be insane to keep them around. Which I, of course, I am. But I do believe, my little sweet potato, that my hearty band of morons may be right this time. I think you are a mole. Nothing wrong with that, of course. I've got a huge one on my tush. But I'm not very fond of traitors and spies. In fact, chicken nories make me so mad I could just spit. Actually, roasting you on a spit might be a better idea. What do you think, Lo? Uh. And now we're seeing, um, um... Oh, geez. Um, what's his name? Um, um, Satanus, who is singing like, and the wheel on the bus go round and round. But uh, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And I use the term loosely. My name is Satanus, and I welcome you both to hell. Well, actually, this is the Joker's conception of hell, not mine. Are you telling me that the Joker has a power to affect even you? Don't talk to him. He's the Lord of Light. He's... Let's just say I'm adaptable. There are a number of infinite number of hells and an infinite number of so-called realities. So what's one more to me? In other words, he's not truly really affected by it. Oh. Remaking the and the conscience reality of his own image. Now all of this is true and it isn't. There's just so much your limited brains are capable of absorbing. 
So he's trying to make him a de- them a deal, of course, for their souls. Oh, boy. How? As I was leaving, I heard your heartbeat. The sound of you clawing in your way up out of the grave. Superman, is it? Is it real you? I'm real, Batman. And together, I know we can bring that lunatic down. Maybe. I've reached the point where I've come to doubt my own existence. I've never known you to doubt your abilities or mine. Can't remember anything clearly except the pain. Every night he's done this to me. Every night I've died, only to be and resurrected so that he could begin the torture again on the name of heavens as he's been taken by zombies. Zombies. Zombie clowns. Please, please. They prefer to be called the living impaired. <laughs> but my body, like, gossip. My gossip. Not the Jokers. My gossip. I my know gossip. it. You know it now, don't you? Together, we can restore it in the world. And I hope that sick animal can feel it. Can feel it. And I hope that he's very scared. What was that? Somebody has altered my will. Somebody's waking up from my nightmare. It's them. I know it. The bat and the boy scout. This is terrible. This is disastrous. This is wonderful. A little change. Some added chaos. I love it. <laughs> As Satan is now making him an offer, but they're like, don't be seduced by his lies. Then they meet up again oh, with, uh, suit yourself. There aren't many hells I could send you to that would be more worse than this one, than the one the Joker has waiting for you. So they meet up with him, and all of a sudden, face. Oh, come now. Need I remind you? It appears I do. That this is all my dream. And face in any way or anything other than your beloved emperor will lead you down the same bloody trail it led this adorable little Judas. Lois, that's what's, what's left of her. But just to show you how generous I am, she's all yours. Now let's make this perfectly clear to you dunces and dunderheads. I am the architect of this holographic hallucination. Everything you think, say, do, and feel, see, it's because I make it so. And if it's war you want, it's war you'll get. Beat each other's brains out! Go ahead, my gallions, gladiators, my costume chickadees. I brought you all to my coliseum, heroes and villains alike, so that you can do what you do best. <laughs> oh, I just love a good laugh. You're having too much fun with this. And don't you? <laughs> of course I do! Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. Just hang on, Lois. It won't be long. You're right. It won't. Kryptonite. Just what the Emperor ordered. You tre- you treacherous witch. She was in with the Joker all along. Go ahead. Take the ring. It doesn't matter now. Look at him. Just the knowledge that I betrayed him and allied myself with the Emperor. Lois, it's enough to shatter his face. In me. In himself, in all of you, and without Superman's formidable will to anchor you, the game is over. See, I told you it was my dream. And see, I told you it was my dream, and I could do and do and dream it all any way I want. And just in irreparably prove my point in a way that even you Mars will understand. I think it's time to, dare I say it, destroy the universe. Oh no. Of course, there's no point in destroying the universe if you can't put it back together again just the way you want it. Ain't that right, Empress Lois? Absolutely, dashingly, absolutely. Say woof, Superman. Woof. Oh, dear. It turned into the super pets. (laughs) Don't worry, we're almost done. We got two more issues left. Oh, jeez. Now this, and so yeah, we're seeing, um, Joker, and you, Mr. Mixius Piddick, my unwitting yet dangerous benefactor, this formless blob of protoplastic slime somehow seems to, to suit you, the futility of the life you lead these days. <laughs> it's and too weird. This is too weird. Everything's happening too fast. Must stay calm. What's the matter, Lois Lane, my queen? Don't you like our new bestiary? Does it Superman's wordless display of canine love and loyalty paw at your heart Ha <laughs> ha! I did understand correctly, didn't I? Did you wish to be my queen? I thought this rejiggered reality would only make you happy. Eh? <laughs> Achoo! My allery, jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> drop that fire hydrant on him! <laughs> There you go, boss. Superman isn't about to saw your royal pant legs ever again. No siree. 
Sorry, kid. Try as I might, I just can't find anything funny in beating a dumb animal. And my world is all about good, clean entertainment. <laughs> Special <laughs> clown unit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> now that was funny. Don't you agree, my ladies? But our dear departing graveyard digging lad has pointed up and has pointed up the comedic limitations of working with animals. Humans are so much more fun to mess with. I mean, am I right? Or what? And, or what? Capture Crusader? I need to take a different tack. Don't I, bats? I need to start looking at the bigger picture. So enough with the damn animals Jer and Jerbo Jerboas and lemmings of the animal kingdom. Return to your prima incarnation in your crumbling HQ. Super Duper Team, stand up for a new direction of my super choosing. Super team of the Zizman magazine. Uh, but <laughs> you, dear dangerous Mixie, you stay as is. Enigma, take Magic Boy here and keep the and see that he's kept occupied. The imp has no part in this little morality play. I've been mine. He, he's really at. Uh, but he's really asking for it and for his last, don't you? Trying too hard for his last, don't you think? Another sign that his world is starting to fall apart. <laughs> oh dear, we're now seeing Batman. Oh jeez, he's getting the um um um. Oh jeez, okay. what was? What? Um. Oh jeez, what is it? You know, the eyes being forced open. Um um. A Clockwork Orange. Clockwork Orange treatment. Would you please actually watch the movie? Okay, but anyway. The and uh, where am I? Everything's so foggy. I don't, I don't belong here. Who are these people? Why can't I remember why? But I do know I don't belong here. And look at him! He's dressed like a little kid. <laughs> His mom and pa. Hold up, folks. We need to talk with you. You oh, can't. Wait, it's Batman's origin. <laughs> uh, you people, get back! These men have gone. Look out, Rudy! The kid's going on a rampage. Superman, son, Superman, son. Jim, bam, 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 three. <laughs> They're dead. How? How could this? You monster! You killed your own parents. If you only had a, and hadn't resisted. If only you just followed the Joker, the law of the Joker. Oh my! I don't think the big lungs saw that one coming. I'm enjoying the show very much, aren't you, Lois? Lois Lane. I know the Joker has recreated you in my image here in this twisted world of his. So I'm gambling that you percept you're perceptive enough to appreciate that I'm and what I'm going to tell you. Listen and believe. You can't win this way. But we see another one where he, they're working with bugs, and one thing we have a Krypton man, but mm -hmm. Superman tries to resist and knocks him through, killing up all the bugs and John Henry. Oh, I said, I swear, I'll never rest until I bring you down and track you down and bring you to Joker. Oh, dear, your friend seems particularly flummoxed by this turn of events. I don't think he ever imagined himself a mass murderer. Won't, won't work, L laughing boy. Won't work. No matter what you think, you are never going to be safe in the Joker's game. And the cards are all marked. For all our sakes, you must choose Superman. Horrible, horrible. This is a nightmare. It... It can't be really be happening. All those bodies. Did I really do that? Did I kill them? Good Lord. Dad! Thank Joker you finally come back. We've been so worried. The radio reports have po kept us posted on your rampage. The million people you've killed in your effort to escape Krypton Man. Lillian, that, that isn't right. Can't it be? I don't understand, Danny. How could you be such a monster? I'm so frightened. Please hold me. Hold me. Herp, snap! She said, you crushed her with your super strength. No, I didn't. I couldn't. How? How could it be happening? Everything I touch, everyone close to me. It's just too much. It's wrong. All wrong. Kachim! Superboy, no! How? What's wrong with me? Too much. I destroy everyone I, I love. Everyone and everything. At last. At last I've cornered you in your den, you monster. Are you prepared to bow before your Lord Joker to commit to his game plan? No, I am become destroyer, the destroyer of worlds. What? Please. That's not the way I wanted this. Wait, 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 I gotta read that. We're sorry, we are experiencing technical difficulties. Trouble is not, not in your trouble is not in your set. <laughs> what? And that's not the way I wanted this to end. I don't want the big lummox dead. I want him broken. He outboxed you, took himself out of the game before you could figure figure out what would break him. His 
death can be undone. Bats for brain? But what do you know about and what'll take to break him? Schism, come here. There's a crack in the psychic wall of our gut. I need I need explored. <laughs> now we're seeing him dealing with the specter who's trying to warn him that soon this could become permanent. And yet, Spectre's also just as corrupted. Oh, great. Everyone, back in your seats! Thanks to the Batman's reluctant input, my braincast will now conclude as originally intended. Oh, this is going to be rich. Look at Batman smiling! Uh, yeah. No, no, meaning he no, he tricked him. Uh-oh. Like, oh, hell, he did do it. Lois Lane, you, you came to me in my darkest moment. No, so it's right. That tune timing loose threw me into his brain cast world. Is Joker testing me? Am I supposed to break Superman? Or am I supposed to just and die or through all this madness? You must know. I'd almost forgotten, but you've been the one who's kept me from crumbling. Yeah, yeah, sure. Listen, Big Blue, for better or worse, it looks like we've been thrown together and Big Blue. Why why would you call me Big Blue? Krypton Man showed up, flies out, but Lois! Her neck uh -oh. snapped. My acceleration strain, too great. I I killed her. Oh, Lois, Lois. No, I've lost everyone. No, I've killed everyone. I, I'm a mon... No, no. Lois came to me. She knew something was wrong. I saw it in her eyes. She believed in me. And that's more than enough. She brought it all back. She made it all clear and true. There is more than the this man, endless madness. This is in my world. Do you hear me, Joker? I will never bow to your lunacy. I will never give in to a world so mindlessly cruel. I will yes. always fight for a better world for all the victims. For Lois. Yes. Fooey, fooey, fooey. To yes. hell with his... <laughs> what? His eyes are like rolling back. <laughs> I breakthrough. Superman was having another breakthrough. And look, those costumes, they did and look right. They looked revolutionary. Oh, they're back. But we're going to, I hate to say this, this is going to be a Gilligan's Cut right. joke. Oh, Prepare to store joke, storm Joker City. Come on. All right. Next time I say freeze, this finger is loaded. Maybe you'll believe me. Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> the League are dead. Oh, great. <laughs> no. Ah, the good gig and the god gig gets better and better each day now. Now a brief repose before and before some course of air. Man, man, I'll tear you. Boy, I don't know who you really are, but I think you've got a future in this organization. Maybe we need name tags. <laughs> I, I know. It's, um... Oh, we see Batman in the canary cage. It's, think uh, of it. The... Oh, what? Uh, what? You mean my monkey powers reality self has repercussions? Was that meant to have the power of God? I, Joker, may destroy every in, every in the life of every living thing in the universe? No, duh! <laughs> oh, Vanna! On the way, Emperor J. <laughs> he's got, and he's got to be, and uh, he, uh, he, he's got to hush, and uh, to be hush puppy. After all, he is the Joker, right? 80, Joker am making truth wrong. They're starting to question him. Oh, boy. Are you listening to me? This isn't a game anymore. You're tearing apart the fabric of reality. No one will survive, especially not you. Do you really want to die? Superman, I, I'm hurting inside the voices, the vision. I just want it all to stop before it's too late. Stop me, Superman. Stop me. You have the power. Just wish and, and just wish it. End this and undo the damage you've done. End that with the scene from my new play, The Day I Whacked Everything, playing in a side of the cross the country. You like me. You really like me. Hang him next to the bat tomorrow. They die first. And if any of you have any loved ones, call them. Tomorrow, the lines may be tied up. The ultimate riddle point. But this is not the answer that suits my taste. What? Why? I stand in the apex. I am my dreams. I slain my enemies and become emperors of all there is. So why can't I stop thinking about him? Oh, boy. So, yeah. Joker is still just doing his own thing, trying to keep him around. And, oh, dear. Oh, look at this. Super Batman's trying to talk through Morse code with his teeth. <laughs> like, kill him? That's your plan? Batman, I... 
There has to be another way. You must have another idea. Good Lord, what has he done to you? What the Batman? Bruce! Ripped apart by vultures. Yeah. And now we're seeing, um, like, it boggles the mind. Every, even a mind as labyrinthian as my own. Can the Emperor truly do what he claims? At this point, Enigma, the joke is destroying the universe is about as tough as you pulling on socks. It's a done deal. Unless, not a hoax, Ignition, not a dream should this come to pass. But Varro feels so, feel hot. Someone not hold me. Hold yourself, fool. What must be done? So basically, they're convincing him all they have to turn on him. Huh? I know things are different now between us, you know. I ain't babin' waiting anymore. You're all uh, omnipotent. I understand relationships have their bumps, and, I, uh, and I'm okay with that. But I gotta ask, how are you gonna destroy the universe and everything? You poor mixed-up kid. It all sounds so big and scary, doesn't it? Words like gigaside and oblivion and 401k. Let's see if I can ease your pretty, I know, pretty little peanut of a brain. The world, scratch that, the whole world, and as I've come to understand it through all, uh, intimate and inappropriate conduct, is sick, flawed, broken. There was never, there never, there was not, never was, never will be a master plan, a divine order, or a gentle white-bearded shepherd who will instill harmony on the wee barons of galaxial host. The whole thing is one big botch job, and we're all suffering for it, be it behind a desk or in a straitjacket. Everyone feels the pain of this life. Listen, help me, I am in pain. That was you? I'm speaking for my kingdom. What can I say? Tomorrow, when I unleash my mojo and go for the big kill at Gogo, my utter destruction of all things that are where are will have a healing effect. For the first time, chaos will be replaced by order. The screaming and the blood and the exploding skulls and such are all me. I thank you to the fans. But you see, Harl, I'm fixing everything. I'm leaving behind a clean, quiet universe. A place where people like me won't ever come into existence. But do I have to die too, Mr. J? All we've been through, all I've done for you. I kind of thought, I don't know, in my camp or something. You gooky kid, come here. You're right, Harl. It and should count. For all your tears and of services, you'll get the best seat in the house for Armageddon. Say goodnight, Harley. I always I wanted my Damon light. <laughs> Even in the moment of object and scarcity, I still got it. Well then, on to the clubbing open of the seventh baby, and baby seal. How to begin? There are so many tools available to us. Global ingestion via dust mite, spontaneous, and attacked by his own, you know, his own league. <laughs> All right, Lois, that's Empress Lane to you, criminal. Empress of everything. Empress of nothing. Superman, can you stop him? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. What do you think? I don't believe you can. I know that's not and that what you want to hear, but it's how I, I feel. It's what I know. I don't believe in you. Then it's all over. I don't even believe in you, which is why I'm here on my knees begging you to make me believe. Make me believe in you. Please. Oh, eat too, Lois. A guy turns his back for 13 seconds so he can figure out an atypical way to obliterate every molecule of existence, and his crew goes native on him. Which part of Joker is God? Don't and, and, and don't you mouth breathers understand? You are nothing. I am everything. I win, Superman. Sorry, Lo, but he's really should have known better than to rub another man's rhubarb. <laughs> <laughs> Never rub another man's rhubarb. He was trying to help us, save us. Um, you really haven't been paying attention, have you? Perhaps I'll explain in the universal language. I'm wreaking havoc across the universe, tearing up the carpeting and mangling the verse. The blood is going to rain like rain. The galaxy will scream in pain again and again and again and again until it all goes... <laughs> well, meanwhile, my two favorite toys get to play along in the fun. Pick a country, any country, and I'll make everyone there double raise and do and doodle razor braids. It's I, and he's crushing her. So oh, darn foreign parts, no strength to the scope. There's something in my shoe. That's gonna leave a mark. Hold on, Lois. I've got you, Lois. You're breathing. I thought you were Clark. You called me Clark. Thought you were dead. 
suddenly everything was meaningless. Was that you in my world? There was nothing else. Lois, thank you for getting my life back, even if it is just for a moment. Ahem! You made my face ex go explodey and swam through my guts! I felt that! Yuck. Friend. Hello, Bumpy Landing! What happened? Uh, oh, thanks for the ride, Clyde. I promise I won't forget our little agreement. Uh, uh, and assuming everyone lives long enough to call in the maker and the, and the marker, you know, that's how it happened. I guess one day you're imp of the year, two millennia running, and the next I'm going to die penniless and powerless in a peon dimension. Well, not totally powerless, just enough le and juice left for one last goof. Lois, I'm sorry, so sorry. I hit him with everything I had and nothing. Nothing. No, that's a lie. I held back. Lord knows if I could have made a difference, but I couldn't kill. And now I've lost. Three fourths and nothing, and we're deep in it, eh? Who, Mixius Pidilic? Keep it in your sockets, kid. Close them eyes and open the ears. Time's shorter than me right now. I know, this is all my fault, and for what it's worth, I'm sorry on a biblical scale. But it ain't over until all reality is reduced to a single point of infinite gravity. So you still have a few moments to figure out the rules. Rules? Unless making Joker say his name backwards will work, there are no rules. The only man who might know if, if there were, is dead again. You're not thinking! Joker could obliterate you with a thought, but he doesn't. Why not? Torment and torment? Fun? Rules? What are his rules? His rules? He's mad. How can I comprehend anything he's done or will do? There's no time left. Focus, kid! Rules! Rules! There's only one option. One way to end it. You believe that, and the game really is over. Come on, soups. Earn that as uh, show me you ain't as dumb as your luck. Uh, so this guy walks into a bar and says, Ow, my humor is so subtle like this O'Day to Earth. And boom, there goes Earth. Joker! Oh, are, there, are those the eyes of a man driven to the brink? Or just a man stuck with three hours at the DMV? I do declare <laughs> I'm being super manhandled. Go on, Peaches. I won't stop you. Make the bad guy be dead. Clark. Don't think. Do it, Clark. <laughs> That's it. Now, th it's coming just a little more. Oh, my. Oh, my. You've done it before, haven't you? I could tell. Such a gentle touch. No, not again. Ever, uh, ever. I'll find a way. I, 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 st still punching a time card and playing nice, nice after all this. You really are too stupid to live, and you know this. Uh, yes, there are, and there are rules. We all live by Joker. There's no avoiding them. Only rule around these bars, strong and stranger, is Joker makes the rules. And then you should never uh, have orange juice after brushing. Yuck. <laughs> I have to agree with that one. What a chip. I thought I could, and had I had a heart of gold, and you had a heart of gold. I wouldn't get and get three fifty at a the butcher shop with this tripe. And don't worry, it's only an excruciatingly painful until you die. <sighs> Son, please. Need the strength. Drink it up while it lasts. All Saul's good for about another 30 seconds before it blows out. Hmm. Heroic and tasty. Rules. Rules. Why couldn't I get the rules? <laughs> White elephant. Eh? Speak up, sunshine. I don't want to miss an iota of your pre-bucket-kicking mental breakdown. And the cosmic gas whistling through your chest cavity is drowning you out. White elephant. The joke. Don't think about white elephant. That's all you can think of. White elephant. And how many times do I have to tell you people? That's not a joke. It's a short-term monomic cognition gag. Philistines everywhere I go. You don't get it. There, happy, no more elephants. Double poo, no more color white either. And it, it, it no longer exists. Not even as a concept. Now shut up and croak. Not those elephant. Your elephant. For all your powers, the brain games, your universe can't have meaning without a Batman. What you talking about, Willis? You think you have control. <laughs> no rules apply, but even as a god, Batman still has power over you. Why, why haven't you erased him yet? Maybe you can't. Or maybe it's more fun using bat spam as my personal chew toy. When would I get to get the gut cro and crunching and skin fling if I'd wiped it out of existence? Or maybe I was just waiting until the big finale. I hate to kick you in the last second, Gambit Super Mook, 
but the huntsman didn't chop open the wolf's granny and the wolf granny still did her and the universe is officially without a batman without a who gone deaf i said batman i said batman i erased batman i should even know the word batman why is he a dead batman clinging to uranus <laughs> there is no Batman. I will it. I will him to be gone, be forgotten, be dead, be bopped forever. You don't say. Why are you smiling? Have you a parking garage where your lungs should be? Why are you? Who I? Uh, 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 oh, that's not funny. Hey, Kato, that's the artist. Uh, what part of Batman no longer exists? Don't you understand? I'm not no Batman. Even with the universe at your whim, you can't do it. You can't get Batman out of your head. Can't erase him because he's just too big. Bigger than you'll ever be. No, no, no. I'm God. He's a type A in fancy dress. Batman does not rank. See? Gone. Sent to the cornfield. Off to the races. I still got it. If you can't do something as simple as forget one man, how can you possibly maintain control of all that power? How can you smash the planets, unravel the sky? Hey, wait. You. No. Or tear up my heart. Answer. You can't. You can't do anything because it's his world. You're just an annoyance in it. But I'm emperor. I'm emperor, see? I've got the new clothes to prove it. Seriously, stop. I don't want my medicine. Call me humble, but in the five hours it took to reconstruct all of time and space, I think we kicked the old record in the can. I guess we did. The whole universe. I still can't fathom. The damage done by the Joker was grave indeed, Kello. But you broke his hold on reality before it became irreversible. All the universe written on the kneecap of a flea. Or whatever, plenty of raw material. No left to duct tape this backward dimension back together. Soon as Casper gives the word, time and ticks from the point of disruption. Everything's back to normal. No one the wiser. Everything you, everything. You did say everything, yes? Because if one blade of grass is out of line, one person turns into a chicken or sprouts a third eye, I swear the next time you visit, you'll have to say your name backwards through a wired jaw. Are we clear? Jeez. So I guess I should tell you about the surprise I left for your birthday. What, Mixie? Come to see them! <laughs> I supervised the imp's work. He did nothing of consequence while I was with him. Sure, put that in writing, Spectre. But despite the reconstruction, there are casualties to address. Bruce? Mixius Pitoga is gone. Everything's been restored. We can go home now and... Bruce? We did the right thing, you know. Not killing him? I know. I would, and I know it wouldn't have counted when it happened. I wanted to count. I wanted to be real! Bruce, you don't mean that. Tell, and don't tell me what I mean! Don't look at me and think things and... And... I can't close my eyes, Clark. I can't close them because I see it. All of it. Bruce, he cannot hear you, kal -El. He will not hear you. Batman has suffered violations and injustice against this person that no one in history has endured. I can't close my eyes because I see him and it and me. Pieces and parts can't close. Each death cry, each horror resonates within him. Dark vibrations, merciless as the Joker's attentions. And they have broken him. The man you know is lost. Only pain remains. No, he'll rebound. He always does. He's the strongest man I know. But he's just a man, kal -El. Just a man. When strong men are pushed until they break, he will not survive this. We just put the universe back together. For pity's sake, do something! I cannot. He has kissed death countless times. He has seen he has been to the end of the universe, kal -El. Such memories cannot simply be erased. They must be excised. Take it. And that... I cannot do, and someone is willing to carry them in his stead. Someone who understands the gravity of stealing a man's memories, his pain. I know what you, you'd say if you were listening, Bruce, but it can't end like this. Not for you, and especially not because of him. Damn your pain, Bruce. We need you too much. I need you. I'm sorry. Do it. Done. Both of you, and mercy on both your souls, kal -El. Mercy. Olsen, get one of those machine and machinists from the planet up here with the big and biggest pair of pliers they have. And somebody pinch me with and with it, cause I'm stuck in a nightmare. The greatest hub of commerce, culture, and technology in the Western Hemisphere, and you expect me to publish a summer special with a page one weather report? Well, it was hot, Chief. Anyone anyone that agrees with Olsen can join anyone that agrees with Olsen can join him on the graveyard ship. You got your and the rest of you get me. Copy 
Jerry has a point, but for the life of me, I can't think of a single story to squeeze. Seriously, the only thing in my head was the reoccurring dream I had about tagging along with Superman. Only it wasn't quite him. Bad skin, he talked funny and said, me, I'm your biggest fan, a lot. <laughs> Weird, huh, Lois? Hello? Rude! Are you insane? <laughs> you have no idea, Lois. The newsroom was packed. Jimmy was rambling in. What if someone saw? Wait until my husband finds out about this tough guy. Then he'll put a mild manner beating on you. Clark, on your Clark, what is it? You look like you're going to cry or something. Are you okay? I, yeah, I'm perfect. Just had a rough day. And I wanted to get a dose of reality. Dreams, nightmare, and some and some ballistic incidents report citywide. Too many to be a coincidence. So explain to me why exactly I'm in the slab in New York with him instead of Gotham with them, keeping my city safe. I had a hunch. A what? A hunch. A bad feeling that maybe something wasn't right. You get them all the time. I never get hunches. I make in intuitive deductions. Clearly there's a difference between and because nothing's going on down here. Nothing? You don't get any sense of trouble from him? You're hiding something. No, I'm just, it was a hunch. That's all. It happened. Sue me. <clears throat> Next time you get a hunch, go juggle some planets and you, and you woke me up. Sorry, you dreaming too? Actually, I wasn't. Strange. I had the best night's sleep of my entire life. He's saying Emperor Joker in reverse. Yeah. So, how was all of that? Entertaining? Insane, but entertaining. <laughs> yep. Uh, man, but seriously, that has to be the most evil the Joker's been without going too far. This is like the most insane evil, not evil evil. Does that make sense? I think I know what you mean, yes. Because he's done worse stuff for malicious reasons, but this was him, like, his mind was clearly just deteriorating. Yeah, if that's possible. <laughs> but what did you like best? What did you, like, all the stuff well, in comedy, here? Like, Well, the weird comedy, of course. <laughs> of course, of course. Right, of course, uh, but also... But also, again, Superman being Superman. Then it's just, no, I will not give up. <laughs> exactly, no matter what. But poor Batman! I know, right? Jeez. I never he got the that. worst of it. And he was I, broken. He was... Anyway, him back? <laughs> well, that's why I think they think that we are supposed to imply that Superman took all those memories. They, that's what the bye-bye was getting, yes. Yeah. Now, eventually, we find out that all the events of Emperor Joker will be wiped from both of their memories for, during Superman Batman, mostly because Mixie didn't want them to remember. Well, uh, what do you think about the fact that this, this Joker showed us how powerful Mixie could be if he wanted to? That's scary. <laughs> it is. But, but what do you say was your, the big, the, your favorite joke in all of it? Uh, mostly Bizarro, I think. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it was the Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> fat man, I know fat flash. The flab, um, Wonder Woman being this, you know, being this domestic fifties housewife. <laughs> yep, Aquaman hating water, Marge Man yeah, under being Marvin Martian. the Martian. I think, ooh, that ah uh, man, there's a million Marvin the Martian jokes I could have made. You and uh, Yellow Lantern, uh, 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 Green Lantern, <laughs> a credit card plastic man. <laughs> yes. So much that was so good, but you can see why people love this story. But those first four issues were like, wait, what, 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 what? <laughs> Where am I? Ah. <laughs> Which did you like better, the first half or the second half? Because <laughs> they are, to be honest, they are two separate, very distinctive halves. They are, actually. <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know. The first half was Looney Tunes, the... The, the second half started to assemble more into a big what we would expect. Right. That I think. But uh, I don't know if I should choose. <laughs> yeah, I would say I think I like the first half because you have no idea. And you could definitely see why people would be so confused if it wasn't yeah, spoiled yeah, ahead yeah, of time. Yeah, you know what? I take it back. I will go with the first. Yeah, because once Joker's involved, I think he dominates too much. I mean, his yeah. name's in the title, but. Uh, that figures. But it also feels like. Now, I do like how they basically mix him made it clear, like, yeah, he seems to know everything, but he's not doing everything. He doesn't just whoosh, wipe you out. And I love that, the way they stopped him. Oh, uh, yeah, Batman, once again, uh, again, <laughs> Batman rules over you. again. Exactly. He, never, he can never let it go for whatever reason. Why is it a dead Batman hanging from Uranus? <laughs> 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 poor Harley, though, right? Uh, Game made into a constellation. Oh. Uh, 
And I him giving the, my name in the sky. It's been out like this. <laughs> you think that's bad? In um, Joker's last laugh, we find out a bunch of, and Joker wanted her to bring her him her before him. So at uh, cheaper to put a bun in my oven because he thinks he's dying. Oh boy! And she's like, and I don't want to help. She's calling Bar- Oracle for help. Oh jeez. That's all bad. Now, of course, that's when he thinks he's dying. Right. But this, though, and the fact that this was all still a Superman story, but the fact that Joker could be just as effective against Superman if he wants to. Yeah. Like I say, I think Lois got the worst of it in all this, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah turning into Lex and then being Empress, that, that, that's nuts. Yeah. And then, I mean, all, and then nearly breaking Clark. <laughs> exactly. The fact that she was utilized, but the fact that she was the big wild card throughout all this. <laughs> oh well, everything needs a wild card. <laughs> yeah, saying about ignition. Ignition was interesting, but I can tell you his thing amounts to nothing by the end. Ooh, I hate that. I do too. But overall, what would you rate this whole thing? Oh, actually, wait a minute. before we go to that, the artwork. What did you think about the artwork? We had Ed McGinnis, Kano, Doug Monkey, and um, I forget who the other one was. Yeah, good for the most part, but some <laughs> some panels were hit or miss. <laughs> yeah, I think they made sure they got most artists got something that went to their strengths for each book. Now that I can see, yeah. like and McGinnis, he had the big Superman Bizarro beat him up, like Pfft. yeah, rock him, sock him, crypto, crypto. Doug Monkey <laughs> got the more grotesque stuff. Yeah, <clears throat> and Kato was more standard. Yeah, but yeah, so now, so what would you rate this on a scale of one to ten? Uh, I give it an eight. So do I, actually. Yeah, it's it's a good Maybe story. An Maybe an eight point five. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is a damn good story. I can see why they like it, and I gotta say, the Batman Brave and the Bold story does not hold a candle to this one. It's good. Still, still a good episode, though. Oh yeah, <laughs> the fact they were able to condense it was good, but it's, you know, one having been Batmite and all that stuff, I mean, it's important <laughs> to have Superman in this. I think that's what makes this work. Batman, we already know he wouldn't stand a chance, but for super, only Superman could stop Joker with Mixie's powers. Let's be honest. I suppose so. So yeah, and by, so by the end of it all, I definitely feel like this is one of those better Superman events, and probably a good, very good send. It wasn't the final of their triangle numbers, but you could definitely tell they were really doing making a count for something when they did it. Right, right. So yeah, that's all we've got on this one. We'll see you all on the next one. Take care. See you later.